When a narcissist is about to lose you permanently, this is what they'll often do. Everyone. When a narcissist teeters on the edge of losing you for good, their actions might take a surprising turn. Regret, a feeling universally felt, stands as a poignant recognition of past actions or inactions that led to undesirable outcomes. This potent emotion holds the power to significantly impact our mental well-being. In this conversation, we probe into the intriguing query. Do narcissists truly experience regret when losing someone? To untangle this, it's crucial to grasp the origins of human sorrow and our ability to navigate through it. Regret often sprouts from a sense of guilt or remorse, stemming from the realization that different choices were feasible in the past. For some individuals, sorrow acts as a trigger for modifying behavior, prompting diverse decisions in the days ahead. Conversely for others, it can morph into an ongoing source of worry and self-questioning. The knack for moving beyond regret frequently depends on an individual's self-awareness and emotional intelligence. Exploring the intricacies of how narcissists truly grapple with the loss of a loved one delves into a labyrinth of complexity. It's akin to dissecting the camouflage of insects relying on their environment's energy, a mirage concealing the predatory instincts of narcissists, projecting an aura of invulnerability. Yet, peel back this veneer, and a stark truth emerges. They harbor an inner hollowness, fragility, and a deep-seated insecurity. Unveiling their authentic response to grief unravels a nuanced facet of their persona. Narcissists inhabit a distinct realm, detached from the emotional spectrum we navigate. Their landscape lacks the terrain of sadness. Understanding others' experiences or acknowledging the repercussions of their actions remains an alien concept. Their orbit revolves exclusively around self-serving desires, viewing others as mere instruments in fulfilling their agenda. Consequently, when faced with loss, remorse or guilt fails to take root, as they fail to acknowledge the individuality and emotional complexities of the person lost. Instead, a narcissist might wield apologies as a strategic ploy to regain control over the departed. In their pursuit of reasserting dominance, they may attempt to instill sorrow or culpability in the departed for the perceived loss. An arsenal of manipulative tactics, from false promises of transformation to flattery, might be employed in an effort to reclaim the individual. However, these I'm sorry statements lack the essence of genuine remorse or guilt. They stem from a calculated agenda rather than heartfelt emotions. The ongoing inquiry pivots on whether narcissists authentically lament losing someone. While a semblance of sorrow might flicker, it diverges significantly from the conventional experience. The human encounter with self-doubt after a setback, be it the cessation of a relationship or the loss of employment, is a familiar narrative. However, in this exploration, the contemplation veers toward actions unexplored. Sadness assumes a different hue for the narcissist, confined within the limitations of objects and individuals. They see sadness as if through a lens that magnifies important people and things. Those who passionately support the narcissist's false identity are the only meaningful connections. If you received attention, money, or intimacy, you became the coveted supply, sustained not by genuine affection, but by utility and scarcity. Thus, narcissists experience sadness differently from most people. Their departure regret comes from guilt, not genuine concern, because they lost utility and advantages. It could be, I should have invested more effort in retaining their presence because they contributed value. The difficulty of finding a suitable alternative causes their distress, not losing a loved one. Narcissists see partners as replaceable suppliers, whether they show affection or provide money. The challenge is finding a suitable match to meet their needs, not replacing a single person. Egotism and self-interest replace empathy in their world. In its essence, the experience of guilt for a narcissist diverges dramatically from that of an average individual. Their apologies, if ever they deign to utter them, lack the roots of genuine remorse, guilt, or selfless sorrow. Instead, these apologies orbit around a self-serving sentiment. I shouldn't have altered my words or actions to maintain this source of supply, as it was advantageous to me. Post a breakup with a narcissist, expect potential attempts to reconnect, masked with messages akin to, I'm regretful I allowed this circumstance, as I had a divine revelation last night, 
leading to a breakthrough in my realization. All aimed at undermining your self-worth and sidetracking your aspirations. Authentic contrition eludes a narcissist due to their absence of moral moorings. While regular individuals harbor a sense of ethicality, a narcissist's reality is an entirely contrived, false construct. Their preoccupation remains self-serving, bereft of genuine empathy for others. Consider awareness as the compass steering our actions, aiding in discerning authenticity, assimilating from blunders, navigating social dynamics, comprehending boundaries, and distinguishing rational fears from unfounded anxieties. However, a narcissist lacks this semblance of awareness. Even if their actions treat you unjustly, their fixation on upholding a fabricated image eclipses any regard for your well-being, rendering them inept at experiencing authentic guilt. When someone fails to acknowledge your true essence, lamenting their departure becomes redundant. They merely exploited your vitality and assets for their self-serving purposes. It's imperative for fellow survivors to grasp how these individuals fabricate false narratives and embrace the measures to endure. Share your encounters with a narcissist in the comments. I'm eager to hear your anecdotes. We can delve deeper into this subject in an imminent episode, so stay tuned. Ultimately, although narcissists might simulate regret, it substantially diverges from genuine remorse. Their deficiency in empathy precludes them from comprehending the ramifications of their actions on those in their proximity. The loss of someone fails to evoke sorrow or remorse in narcissists, as they view others merely as dispensable tools. When a narcissist lays claim to regret, it serves as a duplicitous maneuver to reclaim authority. Their contrition might revolve around the repercussions of their actions upon themselves, not authentic regret. In a relationship entwined with a narcissist, recognizing these warning signs is crucial to prevent deception. If you discovered this video beneficial, share your thoughts and inquiries below. Let's prolong the dialogue until our next meeting. Have an exceptional day.